So it's been a while since I posted any updates, but uh, I have been making some progress. Um, one of the things I've done this uh, this summer, I redid the, uh, the rear brace for the main roll cage. I uh, wasn't happy with the way it fit before, so I scrapped the old one and remade it. This time out of uh, chromoly, so it's a uh, thinner wall, uh, quite about a bit lighter, and, uh, and it fits a lot better, so I'm happy with that. Um, doing a push to try and connect the dots on a lot of the systems right now. Um, trying to get this thing to the point where I can actually start it. And uh, one of the big dots, a uh, big gap was um, in the drivetrain itself. So, you know, I've got a Ford EcoBoost engine um, with this, uh, this mid plate adapter plate so I could bolt it to this Audi R8 uh, transaxle, which, which it's incredibly heavy. The thing weighs probably uh, 275 pounds, so it's, uh, it's pretty beefy. But, um, you know, they don't exactly make a, a flywheel to, to do this, so that means uh, doing a custom flywheel. So just a quick, quick video here on uh, what I've done to make that happen. Lots of measurements and calculations for both the transmission and the... Um, and the crankshaft and, and mid plate uh, to get the dimensions for the flywheel correct. I wanted uh, about 180 thou air gap uh, between the clutch and the uh, the pressure plate. Um, sorry, the clutch throw bearing and the pressure plate. That's that's the um, the first side of the flywheel all turned up. Uh, it's made out of 6061 T6, uh, two and a half inch thick plate. I, I just bandsaw cut it out of out of a uh, rectangular plate of uh, aluminum. Uh, anyway, uh, I'll turn in one shot, so uh, everything's going to be concentric on this side. Now I just got to get the uh, the other side concentric as well. And turning side two, all the runouts are within about a thou, which is good. Uh, it's a lot lighter than when I started, and I got a whole big bag full of shavings here. So that's the original steel flywheel from the V10 R8. Uh, unfortunately, uh, you know, it had a 10 bolt pattern on it. Uh, I was not gonna be able to make it work with the EcoBoost engine, even with a spacer, because uh, the um, EcoBoost is eight bolt pattern. So that's the uh, the finished flywheel here. Started as a, a bigger block of aluminum, uh, weighed about 35 pounds. Um, the original steel flywheel uh, weighs in at 10 pounds, and the new aluminum one uh, weighs in at six pounds, so it's a, a little less for uh, rotating mass. And it's got this, um, steel wear plate on it uh, so that's going to be replaceable and we've got uh, helicoil inserts here where uh, where the clutch actually bolts on under the flywheel itself but uh, anyway uh, 30 hours of machining and uh, well measuring and and figuring and, and remachining uh, it's all done